hear the music. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a video like this in so long. These type of videos are definitely in my top five and I'm so excited to finally be doing a video like this again. Okay, so this video, as you saw in the title, is all about my favorite breakfasts that I've been eating lately and I wanted to share it with you guys. Okay, so the first one we'll be making is the cheesy shuffle breakfast sandwich. So as you can see, I had all of the ingredients that I used in the beginning of the clip, but um, I'm showing you here like what I did and also too all of the ingredients will be listed in the description box below but I ended up adding another egg in this because it was just looking a little bit too dry and I wanted it to be more moist so I ended up adding another egg and it just made the texture like super perfect and I was super happy with how it looked are going to need a waffle maker I got this one off of Amazon for like 20 bucks it was super affordable I'll put it in my Amazon store listed down below in the description box so you guys can just head over there and purchase really quickly if you guys want to purchase this but I love this waffle maker it is so good it heats up super fast and it cooks it like perfectly every single time I put it on for like two minutes but I don't think I left it for two minutes I think I took it off like about maybe like a minute and 30 seconds in I lifted it up and it was perfect the first one that I did was kind of a little bit overdone a little bit too much but the second one which is the lighter one here is super perfect and that is the color that you want it to look like each and every time Take it away, feeling too good to me. I love to scrape off, like when the egg gets stuck to the pan, I love to scrape off the extraness and put it on top of the sandwich. It just gives it like a little nice crispiness to it and it tastes amazing. <laughs> I would have used bacon because bacon is my go-to for this cheesy shuffle breakfast sandwich, but I had no bacon. So my next best thing I used was deli meat, like salamis and things, and it tastes amazing, you guys. So if you don't have um, bacon, you can definitely use this, but I would definitely recommend bacon. Bacon is the best way to go and it's the healthiest way to go as well too. But if you don't have that, like I said, then just use the deli meat and the salami and stuff. Um, I just cooked it up a little bit on high heat, um, medium high heat. And then once it got a little bit like, you know, well done, a little color crispiness, I just took it off and then just added it to the sandwich and it was super bomb. But like I said, bacon, mm, chef kiss and the best for your health. Better than like, you know, um, the salami and deli meat. <laughs> Oh, 
All that I crave when you're away nights. I topped it off with a little bit of zero sugar ketchup and some mustard, and there you have it. All done. It is amazing. You have to try. We make it's my favorite drug. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain holds you. All right, you guys, and this is my cocoa breakfast cake that I made. Um, as you can see here, I used one egg, and one egg only makes one cake, and it's easy because you make it in a mug in the microwave. So when you are literally busy and you just want to make something super quick, or you're lazy, you don't have any time, you still want to be like in the kitchen for a long time. This is literally um, something to make, especially if you are a person who like really loves cereal and had to give it up because you're trying to cut your sugar down. I feel like this is perfect. So like I said, one egg makes one serving and mug but if it's your breakfast I would say just add like just make like about three of these mugs and just put three cakes together that's what I definitely would do but because I knew that I was just like showing you guys like what it looked like I didn't want to make three I just made one so as you can see you know the texture is looking nice you want it to look like that just nice and kind of more on the runny side then you just put it in your microwave and literally you just cook it for 60 seconds and that is it you guys that is it it cooked amazing and it tastes really good the only thing that I would say this time around for you guys if you make it at home is to put more sweetener so either you put more sweetener in the cake or you put like stevia sweetener in your berries that will make it take it up a notch because it just was lacking a little sweetness for me because I think I just used a little bit too much a little too less sorry sugar so if you just add that to it mm, chef kiss to be all fancy and add like the little juices of the berries and I also added some cinnamon for taste because cinnamon tastes so good and for it to look you know for like visual purposes but it was amazing you guys have to try this and ta-da there you go beautifully done last recipe that I have for you guys the last favorite best thing that I love to make well my sister makes it for me <laughs> for breakfast is her loaded omelet her loaded breakfast omelet you guys this omelet tastes so good and every time I kid you not I try to make it it tastes good but for some reason Jenna's hands are just so sweet and it just tastes even better <laughs> so as you can see here she just like chopped up all of her um, vegetables that she wants to add and then she added three eggs that's normally the serving size that we would use like when you're using it for like a single person you would use three eggs but she was going to have some of this with me so we decided to split it you know in half so we put four instead because we we're gonna split that sandwich you know that shuffle sandwich and then we we're gonna split the omelet so we both could have some so she put four I don't know if you guys can notice that she put four there but normally the recipe called for one person and you would use three eggs you could use less if you want to as well like if you're not gonna be that hungry you could use two but normally we use three so yeah she's just taking all of her ingredients and putting them aside into a bowl and then she's going to like chop up all of her meats and everything and just add everything into the pan cook it up you guys will see and it's just literally to die for it's so good this is super filling and it tastes amazing and when you eat it you feel super satisfied I'm going back to the table when all they say that I said for the stable friend of mine because they know all this time that I was out of my mind thinking you were the one that it was loving to see
look how yummy this looks you guys oh my goodness this looks so good and it tastes even better i'm telling you i'm telling you i said telling you i'm telling you but taste even better you guys so she's gonna close it up for a little bit i just want it to sit i'll put it, the time for it to sit everything in the description box below so you guys can know but unless you want to do and then she's gonna flip it over um and then she's going to you know plate it and add all the things on top of it so it can you know taste even better than it already tastes but um yeah you guys this is definitely something you guys have to try and make at home it is amazing and like i said it's so satisfying Ta-da! all right you guys and we've come to the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed these three breakfast ideas these are my favorite breakfast ideas literally i've been eating them so much but you guys don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe and comment down below and i will see you guys in the next one bye but I'll be okay if you Okay everybody that's a wrap Baby.